this video is gonna give you the key ingredient to getting more and more sales every day on eBay. You guys are gonna be seeing me actually type in the item on eBay, look at the comps, see how many available, what they're selling for, and how many are selling. This is the key step for selling on eBay. If you don't wanna be buying stuff, listing it, and wondering why you have 100 items available for people to buy and only selling one item a day, this video is gonna show you the key ingredient for you to be getting more sales every day. So let's check the sell through rate. The sell through ratio is the balance between supply and demand. How many products are available for sale? How many products have sold in the last 60 days? So, so I'm not getting exact comps right here, but I still like to see like, okay, within this category, Pre-owned, 77 available, sell-through rate, 45, less than one-to-one. -one. Profit margins, not looking that great. They want 25 for these, but I don't see the exact ones. The ones that are here are like mid-cap. Let me see if I can find some more info on these. Okay, now remember what I was saying about profit margin. Let me see how much they want for these goddamn boots right here. This is exact comp right there, the one for six fifty. These are handmade in California. They want fifteen for these. So look guys, the profit margin is there. The profit margin is there. Fourteen ninety nine. Profit margin is there. Let's go look at the availables again. Only nine on the market. Everything for extremely high prices. These are made in California, you guys. So you see why, even though the sell-through rate is not there, the profit margin is there. It's so crazy that I'm gonna get these. Let me just check the condition. If it's in good condition, it's a go. So they just. Alright guys, so for these, they want 25. Hell no. Y'all see that? That's a horrible sell through rate. And for 25, 14 available, 330 sold. Like, with this type of deal, like, I would say the brand... It's just dead. It you don't and it's this one right here. Damn, they went for ninety pre-owned Joan Sorel Joan of Arctic Wedge two. Let me try that. See what our pre-owned market is looking like 131 it can't be that good you guys oh shit 103 damn okay maybe i should get these let me think about it let me see if i could get more than one good comp and let me double check what condition these boots are in 260 125 damn 99 free shipping 40 see that's the one that worries me these are the exact ones exact size 25 okay here's another one okay let me check the condition on these if they're a1 condition i'll get them they're a1 condition you guys so um our sell through ratio let's even take it one one step further Thirty-four out of fifty-nine. Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> These are in great condition. They're dark on the 
tips like that. Now, let me go see what's available on the market right now. These are not going to be a fast seller. So these are not going to be a fast seller, but I feel like the profit margin is there. Let me see if there's any other competition in this size. These are size 11. Women size 11. Size 10. Pre-owned for 70. Not the same ones, though. Pre-owned for... 120 free shipping. One of five, one thirty. My gut is telling me to just get them because the profit margin is there. And if they want 25 though. Okay, what color is this tag on these? Green, they just, just came out. Somebody's going to get these for themselves if I don't get them. Should I get them and sell them cheap? Get a quicker sell? Yeah, because I'm not seeing any desperation. Desperation means like you see a product that's very, very, very similar to these at a low cheap price, way lower than everything else. So sell through ratio is not quite there. It's not one to one, but profit margin looks good. And I could speed up the sale by lowering the price under the competition. So I could say I spent 25. If I give them 75, if I sold them for 75, that would be the most attractive pair. Let's see, those only went for 39. That's desperation 46. I'm not buying these. I'm not buying these. It's too much invested. I have a good feeling about this one. These are clean though. And let me see. Um, wallabies. Is that what these are? No. No. It's more like this one that went. No. Yeah. It's pretty close to this one that went for 25. Made in China. Crocs. Size 11. Boulder, Colorado. Let's see if that works. You want to always make sure your comps are, and these shoes smell like cigarettes. You always want to make sure your comps are good. But okay, they want $8 for these. $8. Um, sell through rate, it's not looking there, but I'm not really getting very close matches. To these so that's the only reason why I'm still looking a lot of times that's how you come up so it looks really close to this one that went for 45 now I'm looking at it to see if there's a better any better um, keywords it's pretty much what I'm looking at looking for is better keywords right now Wallabies. These aren't wallabies. Crip. Crip sole. It doesn't have that kind of sole either. It has a rubber sole. So 
so I've spent too much time on this item. These are going to be a no-go, you guys. This is going to be an interesting one. Leather sandals. So, let's see what's the profit margin on these sandals. Looks like they're asking for $8. Yeah, $7.99. Tell me about the linen slides. So, it's kind of like these. Tell me how Bahama anchors for $25. But without those two white lines on them. So I want to kind of differentiate between these different types. But I need the right keywords. Oh. But yeah. Um, okay. So I'm going to say no. No on these. Yep. So on these shoes, the bottom is worn down pretty good. One more detail onto the search. And let's make sure we hit that. Item condition pre owned 22, so the ratio 6. That's a no go. Okay, so we're getting good comps. That third one is almost like exactly the item, right? Now, item condition use. Now, wingtip boots is probably not that great of a um, of a keyword, and so it's basically like one, two, not even really two. Let's take the boots off. So it's not, it's like a high top though, but I just want to see in this category, is there even like good demand? Nah, so that's a no-go. I actually seen these yesterday, but I was with my son and he was um, going wild. Let me see, any of these are similar to the ones I'm looking at? Nope. The shoes that I'm looking at pretty much look like some Air Force ones, blue and dark blue. Ninety-two available. Ratio twenty-one. That's a no go, but canvas leather high tops. Let's let's get better better uh, keywords. That's not good at all, you guys. Oh well, cause this is a nice pair of shoes. Like if this was worth money, they would they would go for top dollar. Oh, there it is right there. The exact ones. 25 or best offer. And that's going to be a no-go.
so this is about a one-to-one -one sell to ratio but they want 15 for these so the profit margins not going to be there for this one And I was almost happy. Brought out a new cart. Oh, I take care of it already. And there's a few items on here. I grabbed like five items off, so I went and took a seat. Let me check them, because I don't want to be walking around with stuff that I'm not going to get. So for this item, they want $5. This already looks like a no. Put that on the shelf again. Right, and next. So for this, they want three dollars. Now that's looking like a no, but everything that's posted might not be posted under the UPC. So let's see. <laughs> Chef's Choice Slicer Braid. So yeah, that's going to be a no, but uh, I got one of those slicer machines right here too though, so let's see what this is, you know, maybe if I get the machine I'll throw that in as an extra. Now I'm just doing general. In the general market, even without this brand, I want to see if these are selling good. Nah, not good enough. And let me see how much they want for this. 25. So even though you could look at some like, oh, 60, and that's free shipping, this is a no. That's a no go. That's a no, obviously, right?
no go. So I want to show you guys this item. It has a good sell through rate, but the buy price is $19.99. So out of four available, actually out of three available because the bottom one is a cord, power cord. The sales are 10, so this month. Uh, two so yesterday and you see the prices i'm not feeling it to pay 20 if i was paying like five or ten i'll pick it up but to pay 20 it's not worth it free shipping free shipping free shipping is it's not worth it guys the shipping's gonna hit you for about 20 to 30 bucks on that it's about four three to five pounds So this game is three dollars. It's brand new, sealed. It's gonna be a no go. And thirty eight though. Who bought that? But that's a fluke, you guys. That was probably that. That thing was probably promoted like crazy. Why are some of them? There's another one. Is on two. No go.